Okay. Okay, it is T3. Um. Hot said. I admittedly know nothing about this matchup. It sounds awful for DDD, but D3 Will has been playing this character for like about as long as I've been playing Lucas, which is eight years, seven years. So it's probably awful for both sides if you think about it, because Wolf has a lot of rock kill. Well, they both have a lot of rock kill power. They both have projectiles and little finicky things to annoy the other. Wolf with some disjoints, D with some disjoints of his own, but also Gordo, Hammer. I see Wolf's speed being the most difficult part of it. However, right now it looks like Bruce. D has good. the strength to keep up with him, though. That's true. That's true. Not that not that not that Wolf's speed wouldn't do anything. <laughs> like it'll it helps his advantage a lot. But Nair straight up beats Gordo, and that is a little silly. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it does. I always wonder what would have happened with DDD if they didn't nerf Gordo when the game came out. Because there was a time when the hitbox was bigger than the, the like, knockback yeah. hitbox? Hurtbox. Hurtbox. For the Gordos themselves. Yeah, I it's not like he was good. Yeah, I remember, like, like it's it, like the hitbox is still obnoxious, but like, I just remember, like, like early old, just like, it just being like impo almost impossible to maneuver around. It was a good move. It was. It's, oh. It still kind of is. It's true, it's true. But right now we see Ruse with a little bit of a lead over D3 Will. Uh, that up air not quite taking it. But it's going to be a little bit difficult to kind of get... Okay, well, nope, never mind. It's not difficult. I'm just going to end that sentence because Commentator Curse is starting before I even finish it. And now it's evened up. Both kind of just scrapping with each other a little bit. Put a little laser. That double back air there from D3 will covering a lot of options off that platform. Yeah. Gordo catching that neutral get out. Really helping him with guarding the edge and the platform above it. Yeah. yeah I. I don't know who won out on RPS, but whoever was able to pick uh, to pick Kalos knew what they were doing. That up air killing though, I mean, even though it was up at the top, it still always surprises me. Cause that move is weird. Yeah. Just so much. Not getting the sweet spot there, but I don't think it would have killed by the way. It would have mattered. Had a little bit of rage. Uh, not the very top, but it was enough. The high ceiling. We'll see if Bruce is able to get. Uh, a quick kill here before T3 Will is able to get too much of a lead. Uh, However, it's one. starting to look a little bad. Yeah, uh, fortunately favorable outcome of that situation. <gasps> Almost had the read. But that Will with the spacing. That was a little weird. Dash not quite taking it though. DDD heavy, big boy. That upper though, definitely gonna take it. Especially fresh. Bruce is gonna have to do a lot of work for him though. A good start there with that, with that combo. Yeah. It, <laughs> whoa! The up Firewolf is getting so made a Cordo? That was huge for him. Yeah, just he, like that hitbox. He hit needed that 10%. What a way to get it. Put that, in the, put that in the highlight reel. Mm. I haven't seen that in a while. From any of the space animals. So even though DDD is at 86%, I'm still fearing for his stock. Yeah. Mage King and I were saying earlier, like, oh, we're dead. playing some of the house heavy characters like Bowser D. Like They might as well be like half their health that they are now just because of the threats they possess. Pretty much. Especially once I get max rage, it feels like every move is <laughs> putting you in such a bad spot. Even if it doesn't kill, it's still a bad spot. The answer here is from Rose. Okay, Town. Town. It's a bit of a risk considering the matchup, but I understand why he wants to do it. Well, what would D3 will ban? Like Smash Bell Hollow? Small Battlefield? Maybe, I mean, you would, or maybe Battlefield. Yeah. Like, because Smashville well, and Hollow would actually benefit Will. 
I feel like Battlefield would benefit him too because he would live forever. He lived to like 200, almost 200%. There, that though, yeah. too, yeah. Hello, with how the platforms are lying around. Ruse would have the, the mobility advantage from flat to flat. Not that you would here, but flats aren't consistent. D3 Rule is playing really, really well around uh, Ruse's uh, spacing. Kind of being like slightly outside of it, even though DDD is kind of huge. Although taking a bit of percent right there, jumping up to 89, 98, and rising. Tried to challenge that with the back air there. The double parry there. Nice. Both sitting at high percents on their first stock. D3 will having a higher percent. That's per the MO of a heavy. Much better game for Ruse right out of the gate. Keeping things relatively even. He's just gotta find these uh, this closing kill. Yeah. But hashtag not taking it town city the ceiling. Is he going for the up tilt thing? Yeah. <laughs> Is that true that percent? It it should be. Up smash out reaching that F tilt spacing really good for D3 Will. Now he's at 187 percent. Micro spacing from this man. That'll finally Event do it. <laughs> Eventually. Yeah. He'll get one of the two sweet spots it has. Yeah. He's just running a lot more truer hits this game too. Mm. Like last game it was really hard for him to close out anything. And right now That's he just true. looks he just looks a lot more himself. Yeah, a little bit Will, more. Will, unfortunately, is right on his tail, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, but that could have been a four-air back air right there. That was scary for D3 Will. Challenging the down smash? Oh, no, that was an up smash. Can't lie. It would have been worse if it was up smash. But... Yeah, right? That's why I was scared. Oh, my instinct was aside he was coming out. I've seen too many Wi-Fi clips. I have not seen him get. Is Wolf? Whoa! All right, you know, honestly, yeah, that, that, that's that a, yeah. I, I love that move too. But that until just killed at like 110. Yeah. Great place to be in. That F-Tilt not getting the second hit. Not a bad decision for Ruse, but getting that up smash though, he's able to even it up. This is still best of three, I believe, however. So, just gotta be careful if he doesn't want to lose his winner side run. Oh, the Jet Hammer. Oh, classic there, All right? He's been in the spot before. <gasps> okay, fortunate not to get much of charge there. This is actually kind of scary. Cash attack follow up there, and but uh huh, you had time to follow up. That that's not that shouldn't be right. That shouldn't be right at all. Wow. How did you even get that? That was really really clean there from that D3. Was, well, I'm not gonna lie, like, yeah, that was honestly, pretty good. I did not expect like I thought that like the Goro would have knocked him like further again. I didn't expect him to be able to follow up with that tilt attack. Mm -mm. I was uh, a little scuffed. Put him in a too much hit stun, I suppose. He was stuck there for a minute. Yeah. But 